Guess what, Gamecock fans? We won today. The Gamecocks beat out the Tulsa Golden Hurricanes 69-58. to What is going on, everyone? And welcome to the Carolina Basketball Post Game Show on Touchdowns to Home Runs. I'm your host, Noah, and I'm so glad that you are here today talking some more Carolina basketball, back-to-back days of Carolina basketball. We lost to Georgia yesterday in football. We lost to, um, who was it yesterday? Liberty in basketball yesterday. I covered that, both of those games of my post-game show. If you're a Gamecocks fan, you're definitely going to want to stick around here. I do post-game shows for every football and basketball game, so definitely stick around, subscribe, do whatever you can to watch those. It's a good game today. It's good to see the Gamecocks back and win basketball again. It was good to see the defense step up for the Gamecocks basketball. We won this game by 11 points rather than losing to Liberty by 16 like we did yesterday. It was just a good all-around game. Good aggression from the beginning. Had a lot better of a first half. I think that the big key in this game was definitely our three-point shooting. Our three-point shooting was so much better than it was yesterday, and I think that's what really set us apart. What did we shoot in this game? Yeah, 9 for 23 in three points. I think we only shot like three three three-pointers last game. It's not like 9 for 23, you shoot like around 40% from the beyond the arc. That's still pretty good. We had guys like AJ Lawson had a really good game. Jermaine Kuznard led the team in points. 20 points for him. He led the team in points for this game. Let me just, I'm just pulling up all the stats. Lawson had 17. Manaya had 11. Uh, Moss had 8. Just guys like that. We had a really, really, I don't want to get too high because yes, Tulsa, they're nothing special. They're no Kentucky. Speaking of which, Kentucky is losing to Richmond right now uh, over at Rupp Arena. So that could be a shakeup in how the SEC is going to look this year if Kentucky loses to Richmond. Uh, Richmond's a good team, though. Don't get me wrong. Lots and lots of really good things to say. Like, we saw the game yesterday. That's why I said yesterday in my postgame show, yes, it sucks that we lost that game to Liberty, and it's not going to look good on the resume, but... It isn't enough to get us all worried and everything. Is the first game. Liberty had played a couple games before. That was our first game. That was supposed to be our Coker game, our first game. And we got a better team than Coker in that game, sadly. And they took advantage of that. But I think we're really starting to get in a rhythm of what it's like to get back in a basketball form. And I like that. I like what we're seeing from our basketball team right now. Lots of good, good play that we saw today. Manaya led in rebounds with nine. Kuznard led in assists with four again. Jermaine Kuznard, he's my favorite player on this team. I said it before. Even though me and AJ Lawson are both Canadian, love to see that. I really like the play from Jermaine Kuznard. And another guy I like that didn't really doesn't really get the minutes. He doesn't play that often, but Trey Hannibal is a guy that I really, really love to watch. He only had four points in this game, but the, just the way that he plays... I love, he just plays really hard and aggressive and puts his heart at it on the line every time. I really like Trey Hannibal. Wildens Levesque, he was a guy that had, a, he played a lot better yesterday in my opinion, but he put up three points, one rebound. He's a guy that I'd like to see more production from. Obviously, he's going to be big as a physical presence for the Gamecocks and doing well for the rest of this season. He's our biggest guy. He's 6'11". We're going to have to get him going. Uh, but if you have Kuznard and Lawson going, those are our two main guards, the two All-SEC. Um, what Kuznard's a sophomore, uh, Lawson is a junior now. So we got a good team here. We got some talent. Keyshawn Bryant obviously took a step back from yesterday. He's a guy that I really want to see get going. He only had two points in this game. He had one rebound, one assist. Uh, he had five turnovers in this game. So obviously you want to see that cleaned up. Only 18 minutes there. But guys like Justin Manaya, our defense really stepped up today. He made some big plays for us on the glass, getting rebounds, getting offensive rebounds. That was huge for us. He's a really good player. I love Justin Manaya. Three offensive rebounds and six defensive rebounds. He's he's our best defender, in my opinion. He's a really good defender. Guy who plays really solid all the time. And shooting from the perimeter, Lawson had a really good game from out in the perimeter. Four for seven, three-point shooting, and then five for eight for field goals, three for four uh, free throws. That's a good game from him. It was nice to see someone get up. I'm pretty sure our leading scorer last game was Lawson with 12. Kuznod for 20. 20 is obviously better than 12, but every single game you want to be somewhere at least 15-plus for your leading scorer, unless everyone's kind of sharing it around, which we don't really have. You can obviously, there's a lopsided with Kuznard, Lawson scoring, and then Manaya. everyone else was like under 10. 
so we don't really share. You got to have someone who steps up and gets 15 plus every single game. Bench points for the Gamecocks, 15 points. Points in the paint, 26. Points off of turnovers, 19. Uh, other than that, offensive rebounds, 8. Fast break points, 15. Layups, 20 for 13. Just reading off all the stats from this game. Uh, everything. Like, Tulsa's not a good team. Again, I said it. But it was good to get back in the win column. Good to get to 500. These are the games that we can't lose because it will look bad on our resume. And we were able to come out of here with a win. We come out of Kansas City 1-1. One one. I don't want to say I'm happy. I don't want to say I'm sad either. 1-1, one one, it's okay. Like, it's nothing to get overjoyed about, but it's nothing to hang your head about. It is what it is. Gamecocks go on. Their next game is December 5th, which is next Saturday. That game is against the Houston Cougars. That game is in Houston. They're ranked right now. They're 17th in the country. They're a very good basketball team. So the Gamecocks are going to have to come out in that game firing. That's going to be a big quad win pickup. That's going to be a big resume uh, win if we can grab that for March Madness. So that's my post-game video for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely stick around. Come back next time. And thank you for watching. And go Gamecocks as always.